everybody how is everybody doing well welcome back to our channel well it's about that time again y'all yep another grocery haul wouldn't you know it seemed like it was just yesterday i was at the store shopping away well here i am back for another haul so i hope you guys enjoy this haul once again it's all my same stores sprouts Trader Joe's, Costco, and Sam's Club. Yep, in that order. So, without further ado, let me show you guys what I bought. And so, you guys, I am going to start off with my Sprouts haul. Everything that I bought from Sprouts. So, once again, I bought three cans of the Baby's Only Formula for Noel. I also bought her her Once Upon a Farm Um cold press veggie and fruit pouches that I really love to give her. These are like in between snacks for her. I also got her a couple of the Stonyfield organic whole milk yogurt. This one is blueberry apple carrot and I believe I got peach spinach, peach spinach and mango and two speak two peach spinach and mango and two blueberry apple carrot and then of course, I believe this one is Wild Rupus Avocado. Uh, this one is Mama Bear Blueberry. And these are all organic, cold-pressed veggies. So this one has apple, sweet potato, blueberry, and coconut milk. I also got three bags of the Cutie Oranges. I really love Sprouts prices for the fruit. These were only $1.98 a bag, so I purchased three of these. I also got a red, yellow, a red, orange, and yellow bell pepper, some cilantro, thing of green onions. I will be making chicken tortilla soup tomorrow. Um, I also, Abigail picked up these. I got some classic holiday sugar cookies. I got some mocha. I don't know how you pronounce that, but it's fire roasted salsa. We really like these. We will just eat it with some regular tortilla chips. So that is everything that I got at Sprouts. Not really a lot that I got at Sprouts, but there are just staple items that I like to get at Sprouts. So I always include Sprouts in my grocery haul. I also got, I actually went to Trader Joe's looking for the pumpkin waffles, but they didn't have any more. I believe that was just a seasonal item and they're no longer going to carry them. And so I, I got, um, I ended up getting the blueberry waffles instead. And I got four boxes of, of those. I also got the sweet potato um, frights from Trader Joe's. I also got two things of my Italian tomato paste. I got two things of the Alfredo sauce. I got two jars of my fire roasted red peppers. I use this when I make my red pepper sauce. Picked up my husband some Thai lime and chili almonds. These are just some mints that I picked up. Bananas, bananas. I love Trader Joe's bananas. I also picked up some fire roasted corn that I'm also going to be using in my chicken tortilla soup. And that is everything that I got from Trader Joe's. On to Costco and Sam's Club. I got quite a bit of things Usually Sam's Club and Costco are my bigger hauls. I usually get more stuff from them. So everything that I got from Costco is, let me see. I got the, okay, I'm going to start up here. I got some Ready Whip, Cool Whip just for the house. It's the holiday time. So I figured let me just have some on hand. I got a box of Rice Krispie treats for the kids for their snacks for school. I got Cheez-Its to put in my little um, dispenser that I keep on the counter just as an on-hand snack for the kids to grab and go. I got a thing of butter from um, Costco, organic strawberry spread from Costco, Cheez-Its Costco. I got two bags of the Gala organic apples from Costco. I got the Welch's fruit snacks from Costco. Got my taco seasoning. You guys, I really like this taco seasoning and I like it because it doesn't have any salt. I like seasonings 
that don't have salt. I don't use the um, taco packets because they're just full of sodium. So this, this one I like because no salt. I also got me some garlic. I got my, yep, better than bouillon, y'all. This is my stuff. I got my celery juice. Now, I buy this celery juice, you guys, because I usually drink a glass of celery juice in the morning before I have breakfast. And I usually wait an hour before I have anything to eat after I drink my um, celery juice. I also got two things of blueberries from Costco. I got cheese for the kids' sandwiches. I purchased, I also got two things of the brioche. Let me show you guys. Two things of the brioche hand breaded French French. I'm gonna be making some French toast with the kids with the, for the kids with that French toast. I also got some Applewood smoke center cut bacon. I got my mild Italian sausages. I got the breakfast sausages, and I wanted to show you guys, these sausages, actually there's four packs. So there's four that come in this thing, as well as with the breakfast sausages. You get, you get four of them. For the whole container is four. I also got some organic extra fine green beans. It's a pretty big bag. I got the organic broccoli florets. I purchased some a bag of the chicken tenderloin. So I didn't need a lot of meat for this grocery haul. I usually make sure that I make a list, go look in the deep freezer that I have in the garage and that's nothing, it's it's only a freezer. It's, it's not a refrigerator or anything like that. It's just a freezer and it's an upright freezer. So I usually always go in there to look and see what all we're low on, what I need to restock and that's how I grocery shop accordingly so there's some months that we might need more meat there's some months that we need less meat and it's vice versa so it varies with things that we need so this month I didn't really need a lot of meat I try to make sure to keep my meat stocked up but for the most part we eat mostly chicken and ground turkey that is the majority of what we eat I do buy roast um, and I have one, two, three. Like I have three roasts in the freezer, you guys. So I knew I didn't need a roast because I think I might, I think I make a roast maybe like once a month, sometimes twice, just depends on what I'm making. Um, I have a lot of chicken still in the freezer. So I knew that I only needed the one bag of chicken that I purchased this grocery haul. So I didn't need much um, this time. And it very, it's, it's funny, you guys, because some months, We'll eat more chicken. Some months we'll eat more um, ground turkey. It just, it just varies. So anyway, let me quit rambling so I can show you guys what else I got from Costco. The Chamba Chai Tea Mix. We got some Toe House cookie dough. We got some Doritos. I also got the Jimmy Dean turkey sausages for the kids from Costco. I got the honey made uh, graham crackers for, from Costco. <clears throat> Got two things of the, <clears throat> excuse me, water from Costco. Paper plates from Costco. <clears throat> I got, this wasn't on the list y'all, but I got it anyway. I got this throw blanket. Y'all, These this was only 10 bucks and it's a 60 inch by 70 inch. They had, I believe five different prints. And so this is the print that I got. I'm gonna move over here so I can show you guys this outfit that I found for Sophia. Y'all, I found this outfit at Costco and it was only $5. It is a three piece outfit. Let me show you guys. This is why I like Costco. Cause a lot of times you can catch some steal of a deals, you guys. <clears throat> so it's a three piece and it's by Buffalo, Buffalo David, Buffalo David Bitten, Bitten, this shirt, pair of jeans, and this cute little jacket. How cute is that, you guys? Five dollars. So I grabbed it. They had another one that I could have got for Noel. They had another style of those of that outfit. This the other one was um, it was silver. It came with a silver vest a long sleeve shirt the silver vest had a pink heart on the right side 
and then it came with a long sleeve shirt and it came with some black um, legging type of jeans it was so cute and the smallest size they had in that one was a size 2t and I was gonna get it for Noel but then I'm like Noel is so petite she probably won't be in that thing till next winter but I should have just got it for five dollars because the good thing about Costco is you could always take it back so now I'm kind of regretting that I didn't get it but it's okay I'm not gonna run back up to Costco for that they lines too long but anyway let me get back to the showing you guys what i got so also from costco i got orange juice um abigail put these in the cart and these will be some stocking stuffers that was her idea so i got these for the girls as stocking stuffers we got burritos i like to have these on hand you guys just for like after school snacks when the kids come home they're hungry just something to where um they can do some things on their own and so i also got these european cookies we buy these every year you if you guys haven't tried these and you have a costco membership you should try these they only carry them around christmas time but they are absolutely delicious i also bought some veggies made great blueberry oat muffins it's made with fresh zucchini and carrots i have been looking at these for a while and the last few times that I went to Costco, I didn't pick them up. But this time I said, you know what? Let me just get them. So the ingredients are are, are pretty decent. So I'm going to give those a try. I also bought some log cabin syrup from Costco. Oh, and over here from Costco, I bought a thing of paper towels. I bought me this huge poinsettia, poinsettia plant, you guys. I am loving this plant. It is very tall. And I also bought me a thing of water. I already have a thing. I already, I already have one and a half packs already. So I only picked up one. I figured that's more than enough. And I believe that is everything I got from Costco. Now, let's go ahead and do the Sam's Club haul. So from Sam's Club, I purchased the cheese uh, peanut butter and cheese crackers for the kids. This is something for their lunch and for the house. I also purchased the variety pack of skinny popcorn. I got the Capri Suns from Sam's Club. Some raw um, and unfiltered honey from Sam's Club. I also purchased the Greek um, yogurt, vanilla, honey vanilla yogurt from Sam's Club. I purchased two packages of the naked juices from Sam's Club. I was getting ready to get these at Costco at first. And then I told my daughter, I said, Abigail, look on your phone and see if these juices are on sale at Sam's Club. And they were. So they were ended up only being $9 at Sam's Club, where at Costco they were $14. So I'm so happy that I checked before I bought the ones at Costco. So I bought two of those. I bought three of the three of the 18 count Eglin's Best Eggs from Sam's Club. I got the Go Go Squeeze from Sam's Club. Staple of Mine Cinnamon Rolls from Sam's Club. I also bought the um, Ground Sirloin Beef Hamburger Patty, the Beef Frank, and so I also bought. Two things of the Jenny Jenny O ground turkey. Now this one is a vegetarian fed ground turkey um, that I bought. So it was only the price difference between the two was a dollar. So I figured why not get the better one since it's only a dollar difference. I also bought um, a box of Nature Valley granola bars for the kids. And these are actually from Costco. I don't know if I said that or not. It's a 50 count bag of chips for the kids lunches from sam's club i bought frosted flakes from sam's club i also bought the sparkling ice oh. only the five older kids take these for their lunch i bought two things of grapes from sam's club cranberry juice sam's club country time lemonade sam's club bacon sam's club i like to buy the reason why I buy two packs of bacon, you guys, is because 
it's just affordable. For this one, you get you get three packs of bacon, and this is from Sam's Club, and it's only ten dollars. I also bought a box of Activia yogurt for the kids from Sam's Club. So back to the bacon. The reason why I buy two different packs of bacon is because this bacon is only ten dollars, whereas the bacon that I get from Costco, this bacon here, you only get two. You get two packs in here and it is $15. So that's the reason why I buy the two because I know I could very well just get two packs of the one from Sam's Club, but we really like this bacon. This bacon, the flavor of this bacon is just so good. And so... I used to buy the right bacon from Sam's Club and it came it comes in the same double pack like the one from Costco. But that bacon went up to when I looked at it today it was $19. So I'm thinking like no, I'm not going to buy that. And so last month when I did my grocery my grocery shopping, I seen the one at Costco. So I said, "Okay, let me try this bacon to see if we like it." And sure enough, this bacon tastes way better than the one from Sam's Club. So I'm ditching right bacon, even though I love right bacon, but they price ain't right. So I can't get it. So I'm going to stick with this one. And if the price goes up on this one, then I'll just be done with it because it's just some things I'm just not going to pay for. I just don't think it's necessary. But to me, this is a better taste than bacon. And it's cheaper so I just switched over to that one and so and so we'll just stick with that bacon for now but anyway you guys this concludes my grocery haul I hope you guys enjoyed it um can I get y'all to come over and help me put some of this stuff up because I need some help y'all know I gotta go ahead on and get off of here so I can put all these groceries and stuff up so I can finish picking up kids from school but as always I appreciate you guys watching our vlogs. Thank you guys for all my new subscribers. I thank you guys for all the beautiful comments that you guys leave. Thank you. Thank you for the encouraging words that you guys left for me in regards to our Thanksgiving, but it ended up to be beautiful. And I'm getting a new oven. I'm getting a new oven. God is so good. Yep, I'm getting a new oven and I don't have to pay for it, nothing. I'm getting a whole free oven. But that's the benefit also of having that homeowner's insurance that my husband and I have. It's a really good thing to have. So if any of you are homeowners out there and you guys don't have any type of homeowner's insurance, look into it because it's something that is so good to have. It covers a lot of things in the home and you just pay a monthly premium like you would your car insurance but it's nothing in comparison to car insurance it is very very affordable but anyway thank you guys for watching and remember you are fearfully and wonderfully made and everything else the word of god says you are take care you guys until the next time bye